something good is about to happen I just feel like something good is on its way He has promised that he'd open all of heaven And brother, it could happen any day When God's people humble themselves and call on Jesus And they'd look to heaven expecting as they pray I just feel like something good is about to happen And brother, this could be that very day that's right, my folks. This is yours truly, Evangelist Willie Grizzle from the House of Prayer. Uh, some exciting fixing to happen. So tune in, get your Bibles ready, and get your prayed bones on. Most of all, let's just lift our Lord Jesus Christ on high as I bring a word, as we bless the ones that need blessings, and pray for the ones that are down and out today. This is yours truly, Evangelist Willie Grizzle. Hey, don't forget to call 270-681-8098 and just give your testimony. I'll tell you something. Your testimony can change somebody's life. So something's exciting is fixing to happen. Every day, but for this child of God, it makes no difference. It's bound to get better either way. I've never been more thrilled about tomorrow. Sunshine's always bursting through. Skies of gray. I just feel like something good is about to happen, and brother, this could be that very day. I just feel like something good is about to happen, and brother, this could be, sister, this could be, brother, this could be that very Hallelujah. How's everybody doing? I welcome you into the House of Prayer Radio Ministry. Yours truly, Evangelist Willie Grizzle. Through the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. I hope today that you are blessed. Praise God. Are you getting blessed? How do you get a blessing? You bless others where God can bless you. Praise God. And today, I've been heavily blessed by my Heavenly Father. Praise God. I got a haircut. Praise God. Now I can cool off a little bit. I was sweating like an old dog for a while there. But now I'm catching up with uh, old brother Greg here that's in the chat room. He, he's kind of a little shabby on the head. But, praise God, at least he's staying cool. Praise God, I hope if he ain't, well, find an air conditioner, brother Greg. I know you can find a way to stay cool. Praise God. Anyways, I hope the question is today, are you getting blessed? The best way to get blessed is through the Word of God. Praise God, it says over here in Ephesians 2 and 8. It says, for by the grace, uh, for by the grace are you saved through faith. And not of yourself. It is the gift of God. Praise God. That's great. A blessing. Praise God. You know, uh, Brother Greg said, easy now. Easy. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to respect my elders. But the truth stands when it's in front of you. Amen. Praise God. I love you, brother. And you know I do. Amen. Praise God. Uh, like it says right there in Ephesians there, it says, uh, through faith. Praise God. Through faith you're saved. Not of yourself, but it is a gift of God. Praise God. You know how true that is, my friend, when when you think it all down and out and no one loves you and no and nobody wants to care about you, see there's a blessing coming. See, my friend, you gotta look upon them mountains. Praise God, that's where our salvation comes from, from that heavenly throne room. Praise God. And you know, like I said, I've been heavily blessed in the last few days. And especially today, I got a haircut. My wife says, you're looking kind of shaggy, Willie. So it's about time to get that old hair mode. So, my friends, I got my hair mode, and I'm just feeling, I just feel like I'm 10 pounds lighter. I know a lot of my wife says I got a big head. But anyways, women, women's got their own opinions. Amen. Praise God. So, brother and sister, let's grab a song here. A Child of God. Amen. It's from Brother Warren. Man says it's the end of time And the Mississippi River She's a going dry The interest is up And the stock market's down And you only get mugged If you go downtown I 
I live back in the woods, you see The wife and the kids and the dogs and me I got his Holy Ghost power and a Bible by my side And a child of God can survive Child of God can survive I can preach a word all day long I can praise his name from dusk till dawn You see I've come through the battles of storms and the pain I made it this far in Jesus name His hand, he'll keep me by his side. The child of God can survive. The child of God can survive. Cause you can't hold us back and you can't make us run. Cause we're the child of God washed in his blood. Yeah. We say grace and we say man. If you ain't into that, you ain't saved by the man. We came from the West Virginia coal mines and the Rocky Mountains and the Western skies. We can trust a promise you keep us by his side and the child of God can survive. Child of God can survive. Never call me by my name, just Hillbilly His granddaddy taught him, trust the work of your hands While I believe Jesus was more than a man He used to laugh and talk about his honky-tonk nights While I spoke of Jesus who could change his life Saved one day from a lake of fire He joined the church, now he sings in the choir yeah. He now jumps and shouts, thinking God he's alive Cause a child of God can survive California and South Alabama and little towns all around this land. We will trust a promise you keep us by his side and the child of God can survive. Child of God can survive. Child of God can survive. Right, my folks, you can survive. If you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, my friend, you can survive all the troubles and all the trials of this world. Praise God. You know, today we, um, a brother in the Lord, Brother Greg Dotson, has been helping me with through the ministry. See, this this ministry is not mine. It's of God. And as when we come together, my friends, Things happen. People's hearts get changed. People get released from the evil ways. So, my friends, this uh, um, uh, bread of life here, praise God, uh, that Brother uh, Greg has sent me, praise God. I hope you enjoy it and let God be God. Amen. Praise God. Here you go. Let God's Spirit, not the world, shape your mind. Our Daily Bread. Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by David McCaslin. When Marshall McLuhan coined the phrase, the medium is the message, in 1964, personal computers were unknown, mobile phones were science fiction, and the Internet didn't exist. Today we understand what great foresight he had in predicting how our thinking is influenced in this digital age. In Nicholas Carr's book, The Shallows, What the Internet is Doing to Our Brains, he writes, The media supply the stuff of thought, 
but they also shape the process of thought. And what the net seems to be doing is chipping away my capacity for concentration and contemplation. Whether I'm online or not, my mind now expects to take in information the way the net distributes it, in a swiftly moving stream of particles. David likes J.B. Phillips' paraphrase of Paul's message to the Christians in Rome. Don't let the world around you squeeze you into its mold, but let God remold your minds from within, so that you may prove in practice that the plan of God for you is good, meets all his demands, and moves toward the goal of true maturity. How relevant this is today, as we find our thoughts and the way our minds process material affected by the world around us. We cannot stem the tide of information that bombards us, but we can ask God each day to help us focus on Him and to shape our thinking through His presence in our lives. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 8. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment, in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts, according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. That's today's scripture reading from Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 8. Let's pray to
Amen, amen. If you don't think Jesus Christ ain't in the house, you need to go find you another station. Praise God. Now, Brother Bobby and Brother Greg, if you continue to fight, I'm going to start calling you Baptist. Amen. Praise God. No, you know, guys, I love you. Praise God. Talking about baloney and somebody running away. I don't think I'm going to be running to is towards Jesus. Amen. Every day. Praise God. Today, that's what the question is. Are you getting blessed? See, my friends, if you want to get blessed, you must bless others. See, you got to bring the truth, the love of God. Like uh, Brother Greg has sent that uh, bread of life. Praise God. That testimony. Praise God. You know, that that's what we need in our life. We need to come together as one mind and one accord so instead of fighting battles among each other. Praise God. We just need to say, Lord, use us, sanctify us, and make us the way you want us to be. Praise God. And you know, today I just got my shouting shoes on. Praise God. And I love the Lord. And if you don't love the Lord, maybe you need to have a little one-on-one conversation with Jesus today because he loved you enough to send his only begotten son, my friend. Do you understand what that means? He sent his only begotten son for your sins that you could be free, free indeed. Praise God. So, brother and sister, let's grab a song from the Chosen Grace. Praise God. Yeah, I get it to work over here. Praise God. Let's. It's time to break them chains. Amen. Amen. I hope that you have broken the chains of sin and you have let God Put you in his grace, his mercy, and he's got his arms wrapped around you today. Praise God. So enjoy this song, Break Every Chain. Well, I said it would. Da, 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 da. Here we go. There we go. Enjoy. We got to break the chains of doubt and fear in our lives. Praise God. 
See, there's so many people in this world today that is binded down with sin and doubt and fear. My friends, we shouldn't live our life in fear because God says not to have fear. You know why we're not to have fear? Because he is in control, my friend. It is time for us to get up. But you know, there is through the commandments God has given us. Like over here in Psalms 1.1. It says, Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seats of the scoffers. See, my friends, we can't, we can't play pity patty with God's word. See, we got to obey God. We got to be in His will and in His commandments. Praise God. And the truth is that the body of Christ, now I'm probably going to make a lot of people mad, but I'm going to, the truth will stand when the world's on fire. A lot of the church has slid back on God. Amen? And uh, they're really missing the blessing that God is having for them. Praise God. See, that's why we got to get up and tell people about the truth, about Jesus Christ, about his death, his resurrection, and how to be born again, how to get covered in the blood, and to be blessed beyond compare, my friend. That's why today... We need to stand up and say, hey, he, it's all coming back to the amen. You know, praise God. Because God, whatever you put out will come back to you. See, if you put out evil, you get evil. But if you put out good and the true love of God, I'll tell you what you're going to get. You'll be blessed beyond compare. He said he'd open up the windows of heaven. Praise God. And pour a blessing upon you. My friend, when you get down in that situation, you don't know what you're going to do. It's time to go to that old knee, eh? Amen? So, you don't know about you, but I like that. I like them gospel songs that's based on a true story about Jesus Christ. Praise God. So, enjoy this song based on a true story. Praise God. <laughs> Cause the day's been long I crank up the stereo With a good old gospel song A small reminder Of how much God loves me And the best thing about a gospel song Is based on a true story The story of the cross Where Jesus died How the storm rolled away And he came True story. The story of the cross where Jesus died. How the storm rolled away and he came back alive. It's the love of God put to a melody. The best thing about a gospel song is based on a true story. Inspires us to let God take control. It's a and a message with the power to set us free Based on a true story The story of the cross where Jesus Jesus died, how the stone rolled away, and he came back alive. It's the love of God put to a melody. The best thing about a gospel song is based on a true story.
Amen, amen. I just put in a chat room in here, and I says, Are you blessed today, folks? And Brother Bobby says, Yes, I am. God woke me up this morning and gave me a beautiful day. Praise God. That's awesome. You know, if we can look into the positive instead of the negative around us, we can have God work all around us, my friend, and that's why we don't need to be looking for negativity. We need to look for the good in all people. See, God created us all, my friends, in His image. Praise God. Not of the image of a Buddha or a Allah, but He made it in the image of Himself. Praise God. That's why we got to understand we need to stand up and today proclaim the Word of God because this world is getting worse every day. But I'll tell you this much. You can make a better day for yourself. If you'll just open your heart and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and look for the things what's down the road instead of what all the troubles around you. Because, you know, I'd rather be a poor, poor rich man than be a rich man that's sad without God. See, my friend, I'm the richest man you'll ever know. Amen. Praise God. So enjoy this song, Poor, Poor, Rich Man. Praise God. A little slow today, but here we go. That I'm living in, it's battered And the shingles and the window screens are torn And my front yard don't look like Buckingham Palace And I don't have all the major credit cards And this car that I'm driving's a little bit rusty Sometimes I have to call and have her towed One day I'll be leaving this behind me Oh, I'm headed for that promised city of gold you're looking at a poor, poor rich man My father owns cattle of a thousand hills All the saints of old are going to stand up and start shouting When I walk through the pearly gates of the promised land Jesus is going to walk me to my mansion It's sitting down on Heaven's Avenue It was built by the rock and not on shifting sand Until the trumpet sounds on the poor rich man struggle Sometimes we have to get by But I've got your blessed hope eternal And by your grace I know I will survive My friends come around and they ask me How can you be so happy in this world But they stand amazed at what I have to say I tell them I'm a poor, poor rich man You're looking Saints of old are going to stand up and start shouting When I walk through the pearly gates of a promised land Jesus is going to walk me to my mansion. my mansion It's sitting down on Heaven's Avenue It was built by the rock and not on shifting sand Until the trumpet sounds on the poor rich man It was built by the rock and not on shifting sand until the trumpet sounds on the poor rich man. Amen. Build on the rock. I hope that your salvation is built on a rock by our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. But you know one thing you got to have done. Praise God. Check out. Check over here in Psalms 32, 1 and what it says here. Bless is the... Bless he whose transgressions is forgiven and whose sin is covered. See, my friend, you've got to be covered by the blood of Jesus Christ to ever get forgiving. Amen. You see, the only way to get into the kingdom of God, you must be born again. You must follow Jesus Christ from the moment you're born again to the day you leave this earth. See, my friend, if you want to be truly blessed, you got to get up. you got to put your life in action. you got to do something, my friend. Like it says over here in John three sixteen, we all know we've all heard this. But my friend, 
I want you to listen close what it says. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that, it, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. But you, my friend, you can believe in Jesus. Amen. But you've got to have him in your life. He's got to be a functional in your life and everything you do in, in the walk of life. Praise God. You know, Brother Boyd, he calls uh, all the time. Praise God. And he leaves his testimony. And he, he has a battle with a lot of people around him that they are on the wrong road. Amen. On that wide path that leads to destruction. So let's play a testimony from Brother Boyd. And we're going to play another song. And we'll just get back and see what God has for us. Amen. Praise God. Hello, Brother Willie. I love you, and I'm praying for you. God bless you. This is Brother Boyd London in Idaho. I wanted to call in if our uh, testimony here, if my testimony here in Idaho, please call one two seven zero six eight one eight zero nine eight. Share your testimony. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. We can help each other overcome by sharing our testimonies with each other and praying for each other and asking for prayers. And please keep us in prayers here. We've had a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I haven't been online a whole lot, but when I do get online and get a chance to uh, listen to all the programs, boy, they sure inspire me, and the testimony calls inspire me also. And we share the programs uh, over on my sister Ann's Facebook page when we get on there. Sometimes I may not be on there till late at night or the next day. It just depends. Uh, but when we share those, we have family and relatives and friends over there that don't have Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. And some people are turning their hearts and lives over to Jesus, so it gives them a chance to hear the programs when we share them over on Ann's page. And uh, we got a lot going on here. My dad passed away, and we have some disabled people we're taking care of. My grandma, Naomi, who's 96, started having some kidney problems. Uh, we've been doing stuff with her this last week. She had to go in for tests and stuff. We found out for some reason her kidneys are only functioning at 30%. She has to have a bunch more tests done. So we have a lot of stuff going on here and people that we're taking care of also. So... Just thanks for keeping us in prayers here. Pray for me to have strength, for God to heal my family and heal my grandma and Yomi. We've had people pray for grandma and Yomi. She had a congestive heart failure and almost died. We prayed for her and God healed her. She had bad pneumonia and almost died. We prayed for her and God healed her. And we're praying for her for her kidneys right now. I know that God's going to heal her. She's going to live longer. She's 96 right now. and She's lived a very blessed life. So thanks for taking the time to pray for my grandma and Yomi and for us all. And uh, know that uh, we're praying, praying for all of you, even if I'm not on... Facebook for a little while. I'm busy with a bunch of stuff here. Uh, as soon as I get on there, boy, I go into chat rooms, pray for all the prayer requests, and share the programs when I get a chance. Father, I just want to come to you in prayer right now in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, here in Jeremiah 29, 11 through 14. It says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Yes, you hearing this, says the Lord. Christ, you have a future and a hope. Up on me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you, and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart. Father, please help us to seek you and find you and search for you of all of our heart today. We ask you to hear our prayers, to listen to us, to give us all a hope and a future. We thank you for touching and healing my grandma Yomi and her kidneys, for healing my mom and her heart, for healing my sister Annie, who's bedridden with the schizophrenia. We just thank you for touching and healing all my family here. We thank you for touching and healing brother Evangelist Willie Grizzle. His wife, Angie, his daughter, Holly, anyone hearing this prayer needs healing. We just thank you for helping us and touching and healing us today. And I say this prayer in the name of your son, Jesus. God bless all. Thank you, Brother Boyd, for calling in. And right now, let's say a prayer for your whole family. Lord, help me, Father. We come before you, mighty God. We ask you, mighty Jesus, to heal, sanct, and sanctify. Lord, if there's any disease, sin, or anything that caused them to get closer to you, mighty God, we ask you to wash away with your blood, Lord. Jesus, we thank you for this opportunity to be able to pray for others. Lord, we ask you, mighty God, that you stand in the gap as Brother Boyd steps up to the plate, Lord, to preach and great give your all your word to the lost and dying world lord we ask you to strengthen him give him high favor lord we ask you to give him blessings above beyond compare lord in your holy name jesus we pray amen amen so brothers and sisters there ain't nothing too big for god if you if you got a prayer today hey and you want to call it in hey 270-681-8098 if you got a testimony and if you don't want to and you kind of bashful, don't want to be heard over the radio, hey, text it. Text it to me to that number, 270-681-8098, and I will surely pray for you. I got plenty of brothers that's on fire that will pray, God will move if you're faithful. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, enjoy this song.
too great for God. See, my friends, when you're down in that valley, and I know somebody out there today is uh, brokenhearted. Amen. Let me tell you something. Just reach up and grab Jesus Christ's hand today. He'll lift you up out of that mire. Praise God. You don't have to sit being tore down. See, you 
already defeated the devil. It's already been made. His days are numbered. So, my friend, don't play pity patty with the devil. Let God lift you up today. Praise God. Oh, I go over here in <clears throat> Titus 3 and 5. Not by the works of righteousness which we uh, have done, but according to the mercy he saves us. By the washing and regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost. To see, my friend, sometimes you have to go back to that old watering hole. Amen. That watering hole of God. And drink from his, his fountain. Amen. To get renewed, get regenerated, to get on fire. See, my friend, the pity patting of life is not going to get you into heaven. See, you're all his or you're nothing. See, my friend, that's why we need to trust in the Lord, cause and remember that Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. I don't know about you, but I found a song on um, YouTube the other day. Praise God. I thought it was an awesome song. And it's from Brother Warren, Steve Warren. Amen. And the name of the song is the Holy Ghost Hall of Fame. I hope you enjoy this song. I thought it was pretty awesome. Hey, you know, I'd I like to hear some um, testimonies. I would like to hear uh, people call in. And uh, even if you're in a local area, praise God, in Scottsville, and you'd like to be on the service, hey, won't you hit me up at uh, 270-681-8098. Or you could call me on my cell phone, and uh, it's a prepaid phone, and if I don't get you, uh, when you call, uh, I'll get you as soon as I get time for it. But you know, uh, the number is 270-943-4866. Call us. Be with us. Come worship and praise God with us. Praise God, because that's, that's what I want to do. You know, there's a lot of times that I get on the highways and byways by myself and just preach the gospel, and there's a lot of times that... I come in, we, we have what they call a front porch service, amen, praise God, and then we, then people will draw closer to the flame to see what's going on and work their own salvation out through spirit and truth. So, my friends, today I want you to be honest with yourself and uh, be come help us at the House of Prayer Radio Ministry. Don't be, don't be bringing your thoughts and your opinions. I, I have no care for them. But bring God, amen, bring God and bring the spirit of love and mercy and understanding. Let's just lift Jesus Christ up. Like I said, this old song here, the Hall of Fame, the Holy Ghost Hall of Fame. I'm ready to go there. I don't know about you. Been a working and a sweating and a singing for the devil playing this old guitar. He said, son, you better stick with me if you want to be a superstar. The devil was a liar, I'm a going higher. Hallelujah, I'm a working for the king. Well, I can't wait to meet St. Peter in the Holy Ghost Hall of Fame. Singing for Jesus, I'm a having the time of my life. I'm paving the way and counting the days till I shine like a star on high. When the pearly gates swing open and that angel band starts to sing, I'll be shouting hallelujah in the Holy Ghost Hall of Fame. Well, I wanna go solid gold in the Billboard Book of Life. When I meet Jesus Christ, I'll be shouting hallelujah when they call out my name. Well, I can't wait to meet St. Peter in the Holy Ghost Hall of Fame.
favor the holy ghost boy i hope you're getting ready to go to that street and i hope you got the holy ghost in your life today everything that you do you should have a touch of the holy ghost upon it praise god you know like it says over here in deuteronomy praise god deuteronomy 28 1 through 3 and it says this and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the lord thou god to observe and to do all his commandments which i had commanded the uh, commanded this day and the Lord thou God will sit thou on a high above all nations of the earth. And all the blessings shall come from thee and overtake thee. And it shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed shall be in the field. My friend, you know that he'll bless you wherever you are, my friend. It doesn't matter if it's, if you're riding down the road in the car today. Or if you're riding on the... Uh, in your house today, or you just listen to this old hillbilly bring a little peace and joy into your life, you're being blessed, my friend. It ain't cause of me, it's cause that I'm a faithful servant of the Lord Jesus Christ doing His will, my friend. You don't have to be knocked down, to tore around, and stepped on. See, hey, I'll tell you what you got to, what you got to do is you got to stand up, praise God, and you just got to let God be God. So, my friends, here's an old song from my father-in-law singing around, singing praises around the throne. It's the the late Debbie D. Payne, my father-in-law. Uh, I loved love him to death, and I can't wait to get back up there and sing a tune with him in heaven. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, enjoy this song. Down here on earth. Lukewarmness in the book of Ezekiel, we're called to be watchmen, and if we don't try to persuade people that are living in sin, that they're living in sin, and they die and go to hell, then their blood will be accountable on our hands, and we can go to hell also. There's so many people out there who say they can just believe in Jesus from John 3.16, and they're living in a lot of sin and not doing the things that Jesus says to do. They just go sit on church on Sunday and go live their life the way that they want. They love the video games, the movies, having nice houses, cars, and hobbies, and taking nice trips. And their focus in life is entirely on them getting their nice things and living their life the way that they want, even though they sit in church on Sundays and believe in the Lord. And a lot of them are into homosexuality, bisexuality, fornicating with their boyfriends and girlfriends before marriage. And they all say they're covered by grace, John 3, 16. But that's not what Jesus says in the Scriptures. In John 8, 31 through 32, he says, 
If you hold to my teachings, if you abide in my word, then you are my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. How can we be Jesus' true disciples? By holding to his teachings, by abiding in his words, by doing the things he says to do. And there's a lot of people that say, Lord, Lord, and believe in Jesus, but they live in a lot of sin. They don't do what he says to do to repent of sin. And that sin will send you to hell. Nothing impure or sexually immoral can go to the gates of the city. You can read it at the ending of Revelation. And Jesus says, blessed are those who do the commandments, and they may have right to the tree of life, may go through the gates of the city. If you just believe in the Lord and just want to go live for all the things of the world, but never want to pray for people, share testimonies, preach Jesus to others, help the orphans and widows, and show the love of Jesus to others, and help others from the parable of the sheep and the goats. Those goats end up going to hell. They don't do the things that Jesus says to do. Matthew 7, verse 21, Jesus speaks to the religious world. He says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, not everyone who believes in Jesus, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father. Many, he says, will say to me on that, hey, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons, and then he wonders your name, and then I will declare unto him, I never knew you, apart from me, you workers of iniquity. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings, mine and does them, I like unto a wise man that built his house on the rock. Can I ask you, James 1.27 says the religion God likes is visiting and taking care of the orphans and the widows and the fatherless. Have you ever taken care of an orphan or a widow? It's the religion God likes. Or you just like playing video games, watching movies and going after the things of the world. Jesus says to go let the dead bury their own dead. You go and proclaim the kingdom of God to go make disciples of all nations. Have you ever made a disciple of you? You ever went out and witnessed Jesus to other people? Or you just go to church and then go live your life? And go after the things of the world. Are you preaching Jesus to others? Are you doing the things Jesus says to do? Are you feeding people, clothing people, and helping people in the prisons and hospitals from the parable of the sheep and the goats? We've got to become doers of the word, not hearers only. Please become a doer of the word. Amen. That's from uh, 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 
Evangelist Eddie Cheney, praise God. That's uh, uh, put your hand in the hand of the man. Praise God, I hope your hand's in the hand of a man. You know, my little girl gave me a blessing this morning before she went to uh, school, and she uh, found a verse in the Bible that touched her heart today, and I want to share it with you. Praise God. And, and she wrote this down. It says, who is my family? Praise God. And it's, it's, all, it's out of the scriptures of Matthew 12, 46 through 50. And then this is what she wrote. She says, as Jesus was speaking to the crowd, his mother and his brother stood outside out, asking to speak to him. Someone told Jesus, your mother and your brother are outside and they want to speak to you. And Jesus asked, Who is my bro- mother? Who is my brother? And then they pointed to the disciples and say, Look, this are my b- mother and brother. Any who, any, anyone who does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother, my sister, and my mother. Praise God. And that was a blessing to me. Last night before she went to sleep, she wrote that down. Praise God and give it to me where I can share it with you today. See, my friends, your blood relatives is not just ones that needs a blessing. Praise God. It's your family, your spiritual family. Praise God. The ones out there that's praying for you, that you will come right and stay right with God. Or the ones that is praying for you to encourage you. Praise God. Just like um, over here in Genesis 12, 1 through 3, and it says, Now the Lord had said on to Abe, uh, Abe, that's right, uh, Get thou out of the country, and from the kindle, kindling, and from the Father's house, unto the land that I show thee. And I will make thee a, a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make the name great, and they shall be blessed. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curses thee. And and in they shall all families of the earth be blessed. Praise God. See, God wants to give you a blessing. But my friends, you've got to get up and do something. Like he's telling Abraham there. You've got to get out. You've got to get away from your family sometimes and just obey God. Praise God. Because wherever you go, the Lord said in his own words, he says, Bless are the feet that preach the gospel. See, my friend, that's what we both be doing, preaching the gospel. We ain't both to be condemning nobody or anything like that. What we both to do is reveal the sin in their life. Praise God. And say, my friend, you can correct this with the blood and with the word of God. All you got to do is surrender, my friend, and get up and obey God. Praise God. So, brothers and sisters, that's the word today. Are you getting blessed? You want to be blessed? You're going to have to get up and do something, my friend. So, my friends, my family, it's been a joy to be with you and being with the Spirit of God and to be blessed beyond compare. Love you guys. Remember, you that number, 270-681-8090, is uh, open and free. You can call it. And uh, I'm going to send out a plea right now. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to sit out a plead. You know, we got so much access with the Internet that we can make phone calls free. You know, you could hit me up on a Facebook, and we could do a what they call a, a Facebook chat time video, and you can uh, click in, praise God, and and just spread what the Word of God has said on to you, where you can spread to the world. Now, you can do it through Google+. Plus. Praise God. If you'd like to have some more information about that, hey, hit me up. I'll, I'll walk you through it. It ain't that hard, and uh, it's absolutely free. All you got to do is have a phone number and call, and if you got an internet uh, to a computer and you got a mic, hey, all you got to do is just call. Just be with us, my friends. Let's lift each other up and let God be God. Praise God. So as we play this song here, remember me in prayer as I remember you. See, my Savior is coming. Is he yours? Today, are you blessed? Love you guys. God bless. Praise God.
camera 